So hi guys. So welcome to my uh, food haul. Um, I went to a couple different grocery stores uh, yesterday, and um, I got a whole bunch of stuff. This um, all this food will probably last us um, probably about three weeks. <laughs> um, three weeks, except for the the produce and stuff. So um, I'm not sure how much I have spent, but I'll let you guys know at the very end of the video. So uh, let's get started. So the first uh, store I went to is Aldi's. Um, really great, uh, really great uh, health style store. <laughs> um, so let me show you what I got and then I'll let you guys know. <laughs> so first off, I got some uh, maple syrup. I'm not going to go through every single thing, um, how much you paid for it, um, unless the tag is on the on the container, so that would wait, take too much time, I think. <laughs> so some maple syrup, got some vinegar uh, for cleaning, uh, four jars of pasta sauce, and the really great thing about um, Aldi's pasta sauce, the store brand Aldi's, at least in the United States, is their marinara sauce and their pasta sauce does not have any oil in it, so that's, that's a great thing. Um, also, neither does their bread. doesn't have any oil in it either. So just for a little bit extra, no oil. <laughs> so I got four of these. Uh, two uh, marinara sauces. And uh, two tomato basil pasta sauce. Also got some apple butter. Um, it's a great thing right now. Um, I didn't realize that this had corn syrup in it, but it happens. So I'm trying to I need as much corn syrup as I normally do in the past, so, oops, <laughs> but it's still pretty good. I never tried this before, but I bet it's really good. Another thing of tomato sauce. And also, too, um, you get the all these brand um, refried beans. has no oil, so I was really surprised by seeing that. I did not expect that. <laughs> So I got four, uh, four cans of uh, oil-free refried beans. Some red uh, curry sauce. This has a little bit of uh, coconut milk in it, but uh, it's still pretty good. And I got uh, two things of... Uh, two containers of pasta to go with my pasta sauce. <laughs> a little container of uh, roasted pistachios. And then for the produce I got at all these, I got uh, some acorn squash and some uh, butternut squash. So that's all what I got at all these. Um, the all for all this, the price was uh, twenty nine dollars and uh, fifty three cents. So uh, let's start on the next store. So. Uh, my next store is a uh, BB's outlet store. It's owned by the Amish. It's a really great store, about two miles away from here. We go there uh, a lot. <laughs> um, the prices are really good, but you had to watch sometimes. Sometimes the stuff is past the expiration date, but it, it's fine. But um, really, really great prices uh, this time. <laughs> Anybody who knows me, you know I love bananas. I got a case of uh, spotty bananas. These are 40 pounds of bananas. I got it for five dollars just because they're spite just because they were um, spotted. So five dollars for the case which is it doesn't happen that often but it's a great deal. <laughs> okay so, my, um, so moving on other than the bananas so I was really excited about that. Got some uh, enchilada sauce. Uh, 40 cents for the can. And the good thing about BB's is all of their stuff um, has their prices already on it, so I'm just going to let you guys know how much you paid for it. So we got some uh, whole um, green chilies. And some more enchilada sauce, uh, 40 cents. Next off, I got some organic soda. Um, it's a ginger, ginger blossom, um, ginger, vanilla, and lime. It's organic soda sweetened with sugar. 
I got three bottles. It's uh, two for a dollar. Next, I got some beans. Um, two for a dollar for all the beans. Uh, pinto beans. It's organic too. <laughs> um, organic kidney beans. 75 cents. Uh, organic pinto beans. Whole Foods brand. <laughs> uh, two for a dollar. The thing about this store is you never know what you're going to find. Um, it finds a lot. Sometimes you have a lot of organic food. Sometimes you don't. But you never know what you're going to find. <laughs> Uh, pinto beans, two for a dollar. Black beans, two for a dollar. <laughs> and uh, more organic uh, bushes, kitty beans, a dollar. Sorry, I, I forgot my other the other soda. So I got four of these instead of three. You said this uh, two for a dollar. And I also just want to say something too. This is not only not for me. It's also for my husband. So this is for two people for a couple weeks. <laughs> so next up, we have some uh, bread mix from uh, Bob's Red Mill Bread Mix. It's a whole wheat bread mix. And the really nice thing about this is it actually has a yeast packet in the in the bag. So you just throw it in the bread machine if you're using a bread machine. So Bob's Red Mill um, whole wheat bread mix, dollar fifty per uh, bag. And I got four. Because uh, I like to make bread. <laughs> and for some reason, um, there are a whole bunch of different prices on these. Um, so dollar fifty for two bags, and then seventy-five cents for another bag. And I didn't really realize. I thought I picked up some uh, bread mix, but it's not bread mix. <laughs> Scone mix. Um, I just took notice to it. The thing that is about the store is everything is kind of in a, not a pile, but everything's mixed up on the shelf. So you never know what you accidentally get. But um, I hope this is vegan. Nope. Oops. <laughs> so this is not vegan. Um, I'll probably donate this to the food bank or something like that. But oops. <laughs> so that's going to go to the side. <laughs> the next thing I got is uh, some more Bob's Red Mill. Um, this is um, blue cornmeal, uh, so I'm going to be making some cornbread. Uh, blue cornmeal is really good. It has a neat, really neat color once it's, uh, the cornbread's already made. Uh, one bag of uh, buckwheat flour. Got some uh, Ezekiel uh, cereal, two twenty-five. I've never tried these before, but they look really good. It's uh, Organic Peruvian um, golden berries. Um, they look, like I said, they look pretty, not pretty good. It's uh, two for a dollar. Okay, two bags. Two boxes of Cliff Bars. Two boxes of Cliff Bars. Uh, it's the Sierra Trail Mix brand blend, whatever you call it, uh, for a dollar fifty each. The I Heart Quinoa, um, like chips or something like that. I've actually haven't seen this um, before. I've seen this one time. Um, I tried it. It was really great at the vegan um, fest in Baltimore. And I haven't seen these since. So when I saw these, I was really, really happy. I cleaned them out of it, even though there's only two. <laughs> so I got two of these. Uh, two, it's uh, three for a dollar. If they would have had, had more, I probably would have gotten it. <laughs> Next, we got some uh, vegan chocolate chips. Dollar uh, fifty each. Got two. So now onto the cereal. I stocked up a lot of cereal on a lot of cereal, so there was a really good price on cereal this week. So, so I got four boxes of uh, bare naked um, chocolate almond. Um, it's a really great, really good cereal. It's uh, I got it for two for a dollar. Um, I got four boxes. And uh, like I said um, a little bit earlier, I kind of picked up stuff. I didn't take notice to uh, to what what I picked up. And so I accidentally bought the sweet honey clusters. Um, my husband will probably eat these. Um, so sweet honey. I know it's not vegan, but <laughs> so four boxes of uh, bare naked chocolate cereal. 
We got the Ancient Grains Vegan Sprouted Flakes. It's uh, $1.50. I got two boxes. Both $1.50. Four boxes of uh, shredded wheat. Um, these are really small boxes, like you know, really small boxes. So these are uh, 50 cents each. They got four of them. Kind of running out of space. <laughs> Here's some uh, Dr. McDougall's red paper, red, red pepper uh, soup. Dollar uh, 50 cents. Three containers of vegan wild mushroom gravy by uh, Imagine. Um, these are really good. Um, just look at the price. Um, sometimes they originally come with the original price on it. This is four nineteen for one contain one container. I got it for seventy five cents. So uh, vegan gravy. <laughs> got three of them. So I got some uh, soups. I got Amy's uh, black bean vegetable soup. Um, really good. <laughs> uh, three for a dollar. You got three of them. Uh, Amy's no chicken noodle. This is really good. A little more fat than what I normally have, but it's it's really good. <laughs> um, so three for a dollar. And then Amy's minister and soup. Three for a dollar. So uh, as for 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 produce um, from BB's. They didn't really have that much good selection on produce this year, th this week, so I didn't buy that much. So I got some um, broccoli and uh, carrots for 99 cents. Uh, green leaf, green leaf uh, lettuce, and uh, that got that two for a dollar. Got two, and then got some apple cider because it's fall time and a low apple cider. So that's all for the food stuff here at BB's and um, let me show you guys what else I bought other than food. So I, so I got some uh, body scrub. It's a Shea Moisture body scrub. Um, $2.50. The stuff in the store is probably close to like seven or eight dollars but it smells really good. So uh, we we'll am using that this time I thought I'd try some uh, some laundry soap. This is a method eight times laundry detergent. I never tried this before, this type before. I've tried uh, the other method um, laundry soaps and it works great. But this whole bottle is 50 loads. So that should be interesting to try and see if it actually works. So I paid six dollars for this. And then uh, I found some uh, Shabbat candles for lighting the candles on Sabbath, Friday nights. <laughs> and then since me and my husband don't celebrate Christmas, uh, we celebrate Hanukkah. Um, we kind of, I seem to found some uh, different uh, Hanukkah stuff, so I kind of stocked up on that a little bit too. Got a couple things here for Hanukkah coming up in December. Got a menorah. Uh, paid $1.50 for this. Got a LED lightable menorah you plug in, to put in your window. <laughs> I paid a uh, dollar fifty for this. And then two uh, Hanukkah garlands, uh, two for a dollar. And then I found a little tiny, um, little tiny menorahs. Uh, 50 cents each. I'll probably uh, give these away as presents. That's a really nice, really cute little small little one. And it has candles and it come with it too. And then I thought this is really pretty. It's uh, just a traditional Mornora. Uh, Rich and Price and this says uh, $10. I got it for $1.50. So, uh, let's see. So that's all what I got at BB's uh, outlet grocery store. Um, so all total for all this food for BB's, I uh, I spent sixty dollars. 
for all the food. So the next uh, couple, next couple stores are just from like little tiny farmers markets or what they could call farmers markets in this area. Um, really high Amish and Mennonite community, and a lot of like little tiny farmers markets or farm stores or something like that. So those next couple uh, stores I went to, that's where I got all this stuff. So I got um, some Concord grapes, um, some green Concord grapes. They smell amazing. Concord grapes only come into season for about a month, um, right around this time. So, so I spent uh, three dollars and forty-two cents. I got this at the Country Breeze Farm Market. So I've never been to that one before, um, but I thought I'd try it out and I find some Concord grapes. So the next uh, stop I went to is uh, Glenwood Foods, which is kind of like um, BB's in the BB's, but not as good. Um, they have a lot of bulk, a lot of bulk, um, uh, bulk items. So it was really fun to see the the whole big like 25 pound bag of oats and 50 pound bags of flour and stuff. But if you're owning a business, then it's a great place to get it. But if you don't, I, I don't know why do you need 80. Don't know why you need 25 pounds of oats. <laughs> so, so here I got um, Glenwood Foods. I got some dill weed um, spice. And some more popcorn. Um, this is called mushroom popcorn. It's supposed to be really big. Once it pops, it's supposed to be really big popcorn. So I only paid a dollar eighty-six for almost three pounds of popcorn. So at Glenwood Foods, um, I also bought a uh, freezer bag there too. So with everything at Glenwood Foods, I paid uh, eight dollars and forty-six cents. Okay, so the next, uh, the next store that I went to um, was Ish's Farm Market. It's not only f uh, f produce or food, but it also has a lot of craft stuff. Uh, it's owned by an Amish lady, and she's really nice. <laughs> um, a, lot, a lot of sewing. If you, if you <laughs> Half the store is nothing but uh, material. So different material, and they sell quilts there, homemade Amish quilts there, and yep, a whole bunch of homemade stuff. So there, I got um, some homemade birch beer. Um, this isn't soda. <laughs> I've let you know that this isn't soda. It's naturally carbonated with yeast. Um, let me just read you the ingredients. Um, a birch beer extract and yeast and sugar. That's the only thing that's in this. And you have to drink it. This is the real thing. Anything with a homemade root beer, homemade birch beer, you have to drink it within the next day. Um, or day, day or two when you open it up or it will go bad and mold pretty much. The yeast in there will kick in and turn to alcohol. So, <laughs> yep, got this yesterday. I'm going to be drinking it today. Homemade birch beer. <laughs> and then I also bought um, three bags of nutritional yeast. Three bags of nutritional yeast. Um, at different prices on here by the weight. It's $1.81, uh, $1.89, and $1.83. So this will last us quite a while, hopefully. <laughs> uh, we're eating more nutritional yeast here the past uh, couple weeks than we have normally have, but yeah. So three containers of nutritional yeast. I'm putting, putting that in my popcorn. <laughs> So the next store, um, I went to the, the grocery store on the base or near where we live, the, Ar the army base where we live, and I picked up some uh, Bob's Bob's Red Mill um, baking mix. It's kind of like um, it's kind of like it's like Bisquick, but I don't know if you guys know this or not. Bisquick contains aluminum, so this is the only bis uh, Bisquick type mix that I found that does not have aluminum in it. So it's Bob's Red Mill. I don't have the say forgot. I don't have a receipt for the yeast flakes and the um, the birch beer. So I'll just add it to the total. <laughs> so here at the the baking mix is a uh, four dollars and nineteen cents. So next is uh, BJ's Wholesale. Uh, it's kind of like Costco or Sam's Club, but just a little smaller. I think it's just on the East Coast. <laughs> Um, so I didn't buy this much, that much here, but yeah. 
So, uh, got some uh, guacamole. This was on sale. Plus, I had a coupon. So, guacamole. Yep. Yeah. Then I got some apples. Some uh, Macintosh. Macintosh apples, which are my favorite. So, apples. It's, uh, five pounds of apples. And then I got some uh, organic fresh ginger. <laughs> um, don't buy ginger that much. I don't remember the last time I bought ginger, but I was going to be using it um, in my juices and stuff to give it kind of a kick. So for, for BJ's, I spent uh, $19. Okay, so next I went to uh, Giants. It's kind of like a regional, regional grocery store. Let me show you what I got from here. <laughs> I got some uh, masa flour. Uh, so I'll be making my own uh, tortilla shells hopefully in the next uh, couple weeks. So pretty good, pretty good deal on that. I don't think I only paid $2 for this. <laughs> and I got some cilantro. Some dental flossers. Got some uh, body wash, some uh, tortilla shells, and some popcorn. <laughs> Two th uh, containers of uh, silk creamer for coffee. Um, one's hazelnut, one's vanilla, soy creamer. Some tofu. Some extra firm tofu. And then is uh, some uh, breakfast sausage. That's a vegan breakfast sausage. I've been wanting to try this out um, for a couple months. It's the uh, apple maple breakfast sausage. I don't normally buy stuff like this. Don't normally buy stuff like this, but every now and then it's good to try new things. And this sounded really good. I'm not sure if I like it. If I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. <laughs> um, usually here lately, my body doesn't really like um, processed veggie meat, but yep, thought I'd try it. So then I also got some uh, garden uh, chicken. And we got some celery. Some celery, some bagels. I think these are limited time, limited time uh, uh, flavor bagels, but they sounded really good. That's why I buy them. What if I bought them? Some cranberry bagels. Really good. These smell amazing. <laughs> And I got some more greens, some uh, romaine lettuce. And then uh, my dog has a little bit of issue with her one paw, so I bought some stuff to kind of help it along a little bit. Got some adhesive tape and some uh, gauze pads. And the very, very last thing I got at Giants is uh, some cherry tomatoes. These were buy one get one free. Love cher love cherry tomatoes. So all total for Giants, I spent uh, forty six dollars and four cents. So guys, I just added up all of the um, prices on all the grocery stores I went to, and I spent one hundred and seventy nine dollars and thirteen cents. <laughs> so um, like I said, this this stuff will last us probably about. Um, other than the produce, the produce will probably last us about a week. Um, but once a month we um, stock up on canned goods and um, canned goods and bulk, bulk stuff. And then throughout the rest of the week, the rest of the month, we just kind of stock up on uh, stuff like this. So, and also too, I think I stocked up a little bit more than I normally do because uh, my husband... Um, just uh, got paid from his job. <laughs> um, he just he just got a new job, so he's his first paycheck. So we haven't been able to get groceries in probably uh, about three weeks, three four weeks. So our supply is starting to get really down. So anyway, <laughs> that's why I kind of stocked up a little more than I normally do. Um, so uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you like, if you want to see more videos, more tight videos like this, uh, please give it a thumbs up, um, and don't forget to share and subscribe to see more videos like this and more videos on my cancer journey. 
and a whole bunch of other things that's coming up because um, I have some amazing stuff that's coming up. Um, also, don't forget to uh, check out my blog, my blog, Instagram, um, go for my GoFundMe account. Um, you know, <laughs> all the stuff that go ahead and check out will be linked down in the description box, as well as try to, um, as well as the grocery stores that I went to and everything like that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and share. And I'll see you guys for my next video.